Now we've added our survey and embedded it into a page and we've had a moment to do a couple entries into that survey and we've been notified as admins that a survey has been filled out. So what we will do is work with those entries in terms of looking at the results of the survey, trying to make sense of the data and using it to improve our products, which is the ultimate goal of the survey. So we'll do that by going back to the edit form fields and inside the form admin panel, you'll see an entries bar. We'll click on that and that takes us into the back end of Gravity Forms and shows us all of the entries that we have. Now your survey might have hundreds of entries. We just have a couple. So that's all you'll see here. If you have a survey with just a few entries, you could work with the data very easily in this back end part of the website. If you have a survey with hundreds or thousands of respondents, it might be tough to navigate the data through WordPress, in which, you'll, in which case you'll want to export that data and use it in a different spreadsheet. So the first thing we're gonna do is work with the information here in WordPress, and we're going to change the columns that display. Now by default, it is going to display any column or any field that you required the user to fill out. And you'll see some of that information is here. If you wanna change what displays, simply click on the edit button and it will add active columns and inactive columns here. And you can scroll through them to see what they are. Now you could change what shows up in the active columns by just dragging and dropping. We might not necessarily care what the person's first and last name is, or what their email address is. We might want to get to the nitty gritty of the survey and find out was it easy for them to receive the service, what their favorite service was, and maybe what the overall service rating would be. And then maybe if they asked to be contacted. So we'll put that information there, we'll click save, and those four columns will show up. Was it easy for you to receive the service, favorite feature, overall service rating, and would you like to be contacted? And of course we filled this out pretty similarly because we wanted to trigger the conditional statements in our survey. But you might have a long list here and you could look at these numbers. If you saw some low service ratings, you might wanna reach out to those people uh, to find out why they rated it so poorly. Or if you had particularly high service ratings, you might wanna reach out to those people to get testimonials for your website or your product. You might also want to come in here and look at the different things they said about your product and whether or not they wanted to be contacted you could click on this link and go into the details of that particular entry. You can click view and it will give you all of the responses to this entry. You'll see here, this is customer feedback survey entry number one. It lists the name, the email, and all of the questions that we asked in order. If there's any notes, you can put one here and that will save it in the database. You can also email this note over here is some other information, giving you information about when it was submitted, the time it was submitted, the IP address, and who submitted it. And this was submitted by the admin and whether or not the survey was embedded or, or which URL the survey was used from. And then of course you can click here on resending notifications. So for example, you might wanna click this box and then resend a notification out via email either to yourself with notes or to the other people in the notification. You can also print this if you're keeping track of these records on print or paper. And you could also choose to include the notes that you made, like I need to follow up with this person. So you can see it's fairly easy to track survey responses right here in the entry field using Gravity Forms. Now if you want, you can go back to the main entry screen and you can also export this data. Again, that would be beneficial if you have hundreds or thousands of survey respondents. And that's pretty easy to do as well. And you'll do that from the import export area. And we will click on that and it'll ask you to select a form. You have a couple choices here. You could export the entries, export the actual form itself to use in another website of yours that runs Gravity Forms. Or you can import a form. We're obviously gonna pick export entries, which it's on right now. We will select the form customer feedback survey. And it gives us all of the fields within our survey and we could pick and choose which ones we want to export to work with this data. We can even select a particular date range. In our case, we're just gonna select all the fields. We'll leave the date range as is and download an export file. And you'll notice here, it downloads as a CSV and it's a pretty small file as well. Up here, you'll have some information about exporting the entries and it tells you there too, when you click the download button 
Gravity Forms creates a CSV file, which is a comma separated file. And that can be used in uh, Microsoft Excel, Mac Pages, I'm sorry, Mac Numbers, and any other spreadsheet program on the market. Uh, things like Open Office uh, spreadsheet calculation program will work as well. So once you've downloaded this, you can upload this uh, or you can open this and you will see all of these fields as column headings. And below that, you will see all of the information entered by your respondent. And you will be able to work with that data in terms of totaling rows or summing numbers or averaging your ratings. You can copy and paste a list of the email addresses to your email browser to go ahead and reach out to these people to follow up. It's virtually unlimited amount of things that you can do in terms of slicing and dicing this data to help make your product better. So we've covered the creation of forms, the planning of forms, inserting the form fields into the Gravity Forms, embedding that Gravity Form once it's done into a WordPress page, which you can also do with posts as well. We've alerted the admin and also the user respondent uh, once they've filled out a survey via email. We have come and edited the entries and also learned how to export the entries into a spreadsheet program to work with survey data. All of these things will allow you to create online surveys, host them on your website, and get great respondent data about your services or products.